got it. He hooks it hard and high out towards the half forward line. Oh, that's a good mark. A very, very good mark taken by McKenzie running with the flight of the ball. A very difficult mark, but he took it. And we've seen two excellent marks so far early in this game. McKenzie. Well, he's uh, only 35 to 40 metres out, almost directly in front. He'll have to kick it to the right-hand goalpost and swing it in with the breeze. I think this end may be a little bit uh, covered, Pete, from the breeze. On its way it is, and the umpire indicates a goal to Carlson. You can hear the roar of the crowd in the background. But they're giving it. They're leaving him one out against Alvin. He kicks it wide. Ablett from behind against Tommy Alvin, but Alvin beats him on this occasion and takes a good mark on his chest. Yes, the kick from Drum wasn't directed properly. Alvin going into the back pocket in the hand pass from Darcy, going out wide up toward O'Keefe. He's underneath the ball, and a good mark by Hans. He breaks away, he's off. He tried to get clear, but got a little kick into Johnston. Johnston dummies ahead. But here come the Blues through Road. Road looking up there for Ralph and McKenzie, and it's a good mark. I said it a moment ago, that is going to be a big problem for Geelong. I think they'll have to move Bright. McKenzie is just too big and strong and too tall for Terry Bright. And that's his second mark, and this could be his second goal. Warren McKenzie, only about 35 metres out from goal. On screen now, number 45 for Carlton. Should kick his second goal. Jack, they should move Bright to full back on uh, Ralph, in my opinion, and put Cleave onto uh, McKenzie. The ball on its way. It's supported by the teammates, and Carlton now have two goals won. And it takes the ball and drives with a good kick. Up to the half forward zone. Hocking out, smarted by Ashman. Here's Meldrum. Meldrum into the open goal, a little kick on its way. High word, good piece of football from Gallagher. And he's going to kick long, he's got the loose man in Wayne Blackwell. Blackwell ducks back, over the back is Meldrum, who's in great form. He hooks it back, oh that's a beautiful looking kick, it's a goal for Meldrum. A top goal by the Carlton half-forward flanker. Gets a hand pass to Madden. Madden's kicks high, it's into the half forward zone, Mossop tries for a position, can't find one. Meldrum beaten on that occasion, a step back to Meldrum, he goes with the left foot, he's got it! Well, well, well! What a great piece of work by Meldrum! He's kicked three goals, he's kicked eight kicks, three goals. I just said he was beaten on that occasion, all of a sudden he got the re- Getting beaten badly by Madden. It's kicked by Rowe down towards half forward. Oh, here's a chance. Marku into the open goal. Alex Marku, he stabs and he slams it through for another goal to the Blues. So the Blues running hot. They've moved on to six goals, one. Leading the Cat Mountain supporters over to Blackwell. Blackwell to Meldrum. This is his fourth coming up. He stabs. And I think he's got it. Yes, four goals to Paul Meldrum in a tremendous individual performance on the there again, he's gone the wrong side, Ablett. Now, they kicked it there. Oh, that is shocking forward play. Well, they tried to let one Ablett man led to it. the wrong side of the ground, then they kicked it to the pocket, there was no confidence. Now, it's about to say, Mossett may come in toward the centre, he does a little bit. Up they fly, nearly a mark to Brownus, but the man in front, will he be paid? Yes, the man in front will be paid, and that's Kenny Hunter. Someone told me he was out of form, he's had three kicks already. Uh, I don't think he's out of form on what I pass back. And Geelong, under more pressure than enough. Yes, up towards Stoneham and Duel. Duel has dropped the mark. Oh, lucky. Lucky actually dropped it in the finish, but the umpire had already blown the whistle. Umpire Rowan Saws. But Brucey Duel, the idol of the Carlton supporters. Up towards Kernahan, who marks over the top of Cleve. And a very nice mark to Stephen Kernahan at centre half forward for Carlton. Now he's I got noticed, a kick left to right. I noticed Ashman in the hands of the trainers down in the forward pocket. I think he's got a bit of a cork thigh. Now, if Kernahan can kick, he'll just about well, do this. It's a beautiful kick, yeah, Kernahan. There it is. There's Ashman the magic now spray. getting the magic spray. I wonder if it works for everything. Now, we'll see if Kernahan can have this shot at goal. He's a long way out. He'll have to aim to the left-hand goal post. Had a lot of depth in the kick. It's a goal. That's a beautiful kick from Kernahan. He goes into the forward pocket. Not a very good bounce. It goes out toward O'Keefe. He overruns. In fact, he might have even kicked it out on the full. The umpire said he had to come off his foot. So it's a free kick to Carlton. Warren McKenzie in the first quarter kicked two goals. He kicked, took two strong marks on Terry Bright for two goals. Now this is where, oh, he's a bit further out than where Ablett kicked his from. Oh, so it'll be a very, very hard. difficult kick right into the face of the breeze. It's a high ball. It floats. Oh, don't tell me. Has he kicked it? I think he has. Another magnificent goal seen in this game to Warren McKenzie.
Held him a hand pass to Johnson. A play of his ability. Here we see a short pass. Oh, Hunter, what a mark that was. That was Tim Darcy. Or was a boss kicked it across? Reese Jones was tackled. Now the hand pass comes. Had a chance for Rowe. Yes, Peter Rowe from half forward flank. Oh, good play. Centers it to Meldrum and Kernahan. And Stephen Kernahan. Meldrum left it over the top. He came over the top of Craig Cleave. A lovely mark to Kernahan. About 15 metres to 20 metres out directly in front. This should be another goal coming up to the Blues and Kernahan second. It appears that Carlton have too much height, Pete, around the ground. Kernahan's doing what? How many? Two marks. Kernahan, point blank range. Couldn't miss it, Peter, could he? Well, you can always miss him, Jack, but he should kick it. He is a great kick, uh, Kernahan. Ashman is off and Gleeson is on as Kernahan. Oh, oh, gee, went across a little bit, but it sneaks in for a goal. That's his second, and the Blues. Mark, who can't accept it? It could have been a free kick there to Cleve. The umpire calls play on. Hand pass comes out to Kernahan. He sets the ward goal. He's got another one. So Stephen Kernahan has kicked his third goal now for Carlton. And the Carlton three, and Meldrum's kicked four. It's all happening on Seven's big lead. Well, this is fantastic entertainment. 12 4, 76 forward. He's a long way out from goal, but I have seen goals kicked from there. He's oh, gone short. This. No one on Gleason. He takes the easiest of marks and now can run into the open goal. He made it look that easy. Geelong's defence was non existent, but that's part of the game. And Carlton go on to 18 4. Coming out now, Reese Jones hand passes out to Hunter. Over to Shine. Shine looking for a teammate further afield. Kernahan wasn't the target on that occasion. It was Bradley. He gave it to Blackwell. The umpire calls play on. Bruns once again can't do much with it. Kernahan hand passes it back into the open territory. Bradley, his uh, foot, his foot and hand disposal is magnificent, Craig Bradley. And there he's found out uh, Blackwell again. And those two have combined very, very well on a number of occasions since half time. As I said, they were quiet in the first half, but when the game, is, the pressure has come on, those two have come good. Blackwell, 14 kicks now. Off the pocket, he's having this shot for goal. Well within kicking distance. Will it be 36 points? The count made by. Yes, he can put that in the record book.